Hey gang, so as many of you know, I have something of an obsession with anti-brids. Um, and I was playing around a lot the past couple months with uh, things based around these cranks right here. And also things based around kind of uh, these anti-brid body tracers that I'm a big fan of, that move around the four parts of the body and everything. And I found a way to combine them all together, which is totally awesome. Um, yeah, so let's break this up into pieces so we can understand the hows and the whys. So first and foremost, let's talk a little bit about cranks, because while I love the way they look, they're also kind of limited in that they only operate off of a single center of rotation. That is, this move is always fundamentally centered around my left hand, which is kind of riveted in space, as that static spin staff uh, attached to it is just kind of performing a normal hip reel, right? Now, we could also use this middle point right here as a transition point to go into a crank that's pointed over towards my right hand side where my left hand staff is now performing the cap rather than the right hand. And, you know, fundamentally this is a thing that a lot of people have played with and know exists in everything. But what if we think of those transition points as rather than being 180 degrees apart, as instead being, say, like 90 degrees apart or 270 degrees apart? Let me, let me break through that and show you how it goes. So this is going to be a series of transitions that's going to use cranks in two different spots. Number one, down on my left hand side, and two, up on my right hand side. So let's begin. I'm going to start off by doing an anti-brid, which is the opposite direction of the way that I normally do it, wherein my right hand staff is going counterclockwise rather than clockwise, but you'll see why I'm doing it this way in just a second. As I go around, I can stop down here where both of my staffs are pointing towards my feet, and perform that lovely little crank motion where I'm uh, switching between isolation and extension like this, and now taking the whole thing up and around like so into an anti-brid that is centered around my right hand being posted at my left shoulder and my left hand now performing the four pedal anti-spin around it, right? From here, I'm going to stop and this is a little bit of a trick, but I have to sneak my right hand in front here for just one second, and then get in a quarter of a rotation up here to my top right hand side, and split around into that, uh, that crank part down over to my bottom right. So again, let me show you how that works there. I'm up here with my right hand on top, my left hand out in front, and as I'm going around here, I'm actually waiting for this moment when my left hand staff comes down in front of me, and I sneak my right hand in front of it, my left hand staff comes up in between my right hand and my body, and now I switch over to having the anti-brid centered around my left hand, which is at my right shoulder, and from here, I split the anti-brid around into that crank and bring it all the way down into the anti-brid centered on my right hip, yeah? So from here, I can take that middle spot and go down, open up into a crank, take this all the way around, go up to my right shoulder, split into the crank, bring it around, bring it around, split into the crank, bring it around, bring it around, split into the crank, bring it around. So in this case, I am taking what normally would be kind of like a four point tracer that goes around the body and cracking it open at two different points around my body. One, of course, being at my left hip, one, of course, being at my right shoulder. Just to keep it even, because symmetry is an interesting thing. Cool, so now that that's done, what we can actually do is we can break the thing apart into a crank in each of these four positions. Let me show you how. We're going to start at the bottom left where we had our original crank, which goes around, no problem whatsoever. And as we're coming around here, bringing that left hand staff up and over. As it comes to this point where our two staffs are even with my left shoulder right here, I'm going to bring that left hand staff over in an extension where my right hand staff does a static spin. And you'll note, this is also where I'm concealing the point at which I bring the right hand staff behind the, uh, or rather the left hand staff behind the right hand. Go up, open up into the crank, go down and around over to my right hand side open up into the crank, I go down on my left foot, open into the crank, up and around for three quarters of a rotation, open into the crank, one quarter, open into the crank, three quarters, open into the crank, one quarter, open into the crank, three quarters, open into the crank, one quarter, open into the crank. 
just because of the way the geometry works out, I wind up having to do 270 degrees both at my upper left quadrant as well as my lower right quadrant. It's just kind of the way it works out. But then I also have those lovely one quarter moments both at bottom left and top right that really appear to split open around my shoulder and hip and which has a really cool presentation that I love a lot. Cool. So. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, clearly, I am a big fan of uh, anti-brids and finding different uses for them. So go forth and find more for me. Thanks so much, and I'll see you in two weeks. Peace. A huge thank you to Third Earth Fireproof for sponsoring this month's videos. Based in the heart of Brooklyn and made in America, Third Earth is an innovative clothing line that features fire retardant, all natural fabrics, and high quality craftsmanship, all with the fire performer in mind. Whether it be festival wear, costumes, or even everyday wear, Third Earth has an option that's right for you. Find them on Etsy and use the promo code DREXFACTOR to get 10% off your order. Also, a huge debt of thanks is owed to my Patreon supporters. If you or anybody that you know has learned something from one of the videos that I've put out, please consider signing up to make a monthly contribution. You'll get access to some great behind-the-scenes footage as well as great rewards. You can find me over at patreon.com slash DREXFACTORPOI. Thank you in advance.